the second thing that we want to talk about is around customer mismatches. The last one, growing thoughtfully. Um, and I think on this one, you know, both of us have talked a lot about, you know, kind of the race for venture capital and raising money and then trying to get in and out of categories. We've seen a lot of that. Yeah. Um, funny enough, um, one of our, our favorite people, um, Jeff Smith was talking about how he finds that we value, you know, kind of startup funding, but no one ever talks about bootstrapping. We don't celebrate bootstrapping at all. Um, and, and I think, I think that this is one of those moments where you kind of need to go, all right. So given the kind of forecast that we're seeing, if you're a small brand and elite brand, you live in the better category that we've been talking about, maybe you need to temper expectations and slow down growth a little. So you get healthy growth to get you to a place where you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel in three years, for example. How do you do that when you're a brand that's been funded by people that want the return? Oh, the growth or, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, typically a lot of that funding comes at a cost. Mm -hmm. It's I want XXX. Like mm -hmm. if you're bootstrapping, I'm not saying that you have to do this. I mean, Jeff, I think I, I personally agree with Jeff. I, I don't think we spend enough time really talking about the brands yeah. who just I'm the same. methodically done yeah. their thing, right? Yeah. You know, but you typically have more time with mom, dad, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, potentially, if your business is sound and you can, you know, you're not under the pressure of um, whether it's shareholders. It and or, right now, yeah. You know, it's different, yeah. right? And again, it's not to say you, you, you shouldn't do it or couldn't do it, but everything comes at a cost. Like I would love to have RT um, in Costco and Loblaws tomorrow too. I think you would too, but what's the cost? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. What's the cost? Well, I, first off, I don't think we could produce I know it. I wouldn't because I don't know what the cost is and I don't well, know. Well, I tell you, Ryan, I know we can't do it too, though. Yeah. My difference is I know what the cost would be. The cost would be we'd have to get funding to get a new place to do this, new equipment, then all the listing fees, then all the other things, then your accounts payable, accounts received, all of the stuff. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, holy shit, okay, you know what? Just take a breath of air. How about if we just go to a few of the small guys and let's just kind of do this a little calmer. So so that's an interesting because- But that's just our opinion, Phil. That but, doesn't but, mean you have to do it that way. But the flip side of that, of your, my, so I didn't think about any of that actually. So I didn't worry about, you know, because I'd let you freak out about manufacturing. Yeah, my stress is to, to me, the, the reason I wouldn't want it at Costco is- because sometimes when you're a small brand, what you're still learning along the way is even us, right? We've done this a million times over, right? But even us, sometimes you're still learning where your pricing thresholds are, yeah. what really works, what really doesn't work. And so like the best brands that go into a place like Costco, right? Costco can easily become half of your gross revenue target. Oh my God, easily, okay. right? Easily. But, but if you don't have a proper plan to manage resources, um, manufacturing, shipping, blah, 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 blah. And if you don't have a plan to harness what that growth means to your business after Costco, because there, there's always after a Costco, there's never a, we're in Costco and we're staying at Costco. There is a we're in Costco, we're now exiting Costco, right? Like that's how it works, right? Just so, so people understand what, the, what Phil's saying, walk Costco this Christmas, walk it next Christmas. Yeah. Most, not there, most, a lot a of brands aren't there. Brands, there, there are brands, brands that stay, you know, Pidal stick, yeah. Gladdle yeah. stick. Yeah. There's big, 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 many of the, the nature's path fusel yeah. stick, the general mills stick, yeah. but a lot of cool shit. It churns. Well, look, Costco has a policy of your, your number one or your private label. Right. Like that's yeah. kind of how it works. Right. Like they don't have a lot of SKU assortment. They have a quarter of what everybody else has. They have number one. They got 4,000. They have SKUs. private assortment. They might be willing to do a number one and a sometimes number two and a private label. And that's about it. Right. Yeah, and so yeah. you, you got to be really clear. Like when you get in there and you get your volume hit, what are you doing to get out? Right. And so to me, while you're worried about the manufacturing, I'm worried about that side is like, what does this mean for me? This means 18 months from now, I could burn out and the company could close. Well, I'll never be able to recover. 
because you would have spent useful? all the money on manufacturing. I we would have put all this gross target that's in my there. Point, Phil. And then eighteen right? months from now, you'd be like, "Hey, so what are we doing?" I go, "I don't know. I thought Nothing. I was I've got I've got eighty percent capacity in manufacturing. Yeah. You know why? I overbuilt because yeah. I had to do Costco. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. Now what? Yeah. And it's not to say that that always happens. Yeah. I mean, again, I think what we're trying to do is you got to you got to you got to try to just look ahead. Yeah. Right. And I do. And I think, I mean, it was funny the day that Jeff posted that we both went at it thinking, yeah, you know what? You know, again, the problem with bootstrapping is it, it's not as sexy, is typically not near as fast. It doesn't get the media. Right. Yeah. It just, it just, it doesn't. I mean, what gets media now is, you know, I raised $10 million and I sold for $200 million. So, and I uh, think that's wonderful. I mean, I wish yeah. I, w- I I wish we could do that. I I, I wouldn't say no to it. Yeah. To some but, degree. But I do think. I'm, yeah. You what know. what you need to hear from us is, you you've got to be thinking about where you want to go. You've got to factor in this slowdown and think about. Sure. If I was aiming for twenty five percent growth, am I actually going to make that number? Um, if I've done the other two things, the cash commitment and the customer, and I, I'm clear of those two. Maybe I still need to temper my expectations and come down a little bit, but you need to be aiming for kind of a three-year, four-year landing, so to make sure that you get out of this and still keep growing, right? I think that's what I think that's yeah. I think that's I think that's fair. Yeah. Right. And again, I'm not. We're not telling people not to do it. I'm not telling you know to do do whatever you want to do, man. It's it's your business, and you mm-hmm. you you see things in it that that I won't because I'm not in it, nor is Phil. But what we're telling you is a lot of what we see is really not new. And really, nobody's that unique where they don't suffer the same types of things that we're talking about. Yeah. But yeah. it's not to say that you couldn't be different. Yeah, you may. You know what? Light it up and get all the distribution you can because yeah. it's 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 better for you. And then there's yeah. others. Yeah, agree. agree. I mean, to me, the biggest part still goes back to what we're, we talked about before is if I'd be more worried if I can't, if I, if my cogs are a problem now, it's not going to get much better in the new year. Mm-hmm. So, if, and if I can't react mm-hmm. or if I'm having challenges mm-hmm. with cash now, I, I don't, I don't anticipate yeah. the new year being a hell of a lot better for yeah. you. Yeah. Right. So if those two things are a problem now, I think you really need to button down and figure out what the hell you're doing. Cause it'd be a shame to have you not make it because you, 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 it's, you just didn't look at it. Right. As always. Hopefully this generates some thought in you guys. If if uh, anyone does need help with this, you you should call. Um, we will. Yeah, if we can't help you, we'll push you to people we that can probably help you, could. We'll help you push to the people that can. Um, you know, yeah. Or talk to other people. Maybe yeah. other people will tell you the opposite. These guys are you know way too pessimistic. Just go go go. Yeah. Again, it's your decision. It's, it's yeah. your business. You do whatever you. This you, is you feel just like doing. This is what should this do. But this is what what it should do is make you say one of two things. Yeah, I think they're right. I'll do what they're saying to take a look. Or no, I think they're full of shit. And I'm going to look at it anyway, but go my own path. God bless you. Go go your own path. Um, All we want is you to do well. I don't really care how you get there. Just do well. 